all right everybody how y'all doing and welcome back to my channel here i'm with the unboxing of the do-it-yourself pc solo t2r the r stand for red i have the black and red case now they come in two different colors blue and red i got the red one so y'all want to know why i'm going while I'm, while I'm downgrading okay number one my do-it-yourself cuboid is the width of it is 10 point 85 inches the solo t2 is 8.20 inches yes i'm cutting down some space on my desk because when i'm sitting at my desk and i, I notice i've been bumping into my cube weight um built you know i want to go ahead and cut some space down because i do not have that much room on my desk and this do it yourself solo t2r is good for that reason now keep in mind this do not have any um presentation window so it do not come with a tempered glass it come with solid and i'm all your basic pc building anyway this suits my needs i had it i had did a um a video on it um decommissioning because i had this here as my entertainment rig and i had brought the cougar um mx 330 g case in there just for that their presentation build too and also with that just said, you know, I all my PCs have the RGB into it, so I want to go ahead on it and you know downgrade off the RGB before I lose interest into it. It's getting there by the inch, so I want to go ahead on and downgrade to something that's more suitable for me and better. Now I was this close to buying another case, but I just realized I said, Ron, why waste money when you have a case already in the closet? okay so now let's get into the unboxing of it and to the ones that are basic pc users you know this will be this will be pushing my editing rig in here so my asus uh, motherboard my ryzen 5 3600 etc is going in here so and this should, this should be suits me even better so let's get into the unboxing of it and we go over the specs of this case here and just like I said previously that um, I'm about losing the feel of the RGB and then before I lose, before I completely dislike it, I want to go ahead and downgrade some of my PCs to just limit it to using the RGB stuff. So, okay, so now, not a bad case. I love it. I had this baby cranked up and trust me, it did not get hot. Even though it's not a presentation, it don't have no ventilation up top, but with all the ventilations and everything going on into the back, trust me, my PC will not even much crank up. So go ahead and overheat and anything like that. Just so, okay, now, we'll go ahead and get everything out the way. Okay, so now what we have here is the case itself, red, black, those are my colors. Blue, black, my colors. I'm happy, I love it, and I like it. Now, let's go ahead and get into the front. Now, the front do have an R, I mean, an LED red case frame. I will be removing that out and be putting the Apiva um, case frames in there. That's the Apiva. CL512S black five pack. I'll be putting those fans in there. I don't want to see no more LEDs. I, I trust me, I'm LED'd out. Um, when I'm doing my videos, if I want to go into that vibe, I don't do no RGB strobing, no smooth. I just go ahead and pick my color light, which is blue or red, and I do my thing. Alrighty. Up front, it has a 120 million, millimeter. Um, LED red fan that comes with it in the back it has a 120 million all red fan no LED so two fans do come with this cell one LED one non LED um it has um, a ventilation so if you want to add a fan on the side panel you can add a 120 millimeter fan on the side panel just to exhaust out the hot air out the case so your case will be overheating okay now in the back you have your ps your psu um, mount 
you have your five expansion slots you have your IO shield here and on the inside just like on the inside you have your 120 millimeter case fan support on the side panel door now the dimension of the case this case here supports micro ATX and ATX motherboards the um, expansion slots are you have one 5.2 drive you have room for three 2.0s you got a, a, a SSD here you can mount an SSD there you have two supports for 2.5 drive and you have two 3.5 mounts they got your cable management cutouts it does that they're pretty good I mean it's a pretty good case and then we go ahead and take off the black panel the back panel so you can go ahead on the seat and then you got your cable management on the back side which is not bad now you got your little tie downs for your cable management your little cutouts you have your SSD uh, mount, uh, mount back panel there I mean it's, it's a great case you cannot go wrong with it and up front I did talk about the front panel you have your power button you have your two USB 2.0s you have your one USB 3.0 and you have your audio on your mic um, jacks up front now audio I recommend y'all do not, not use the front panel audio because it does sound ruggish if you're going to use your audio and your mic connection, get an extender and plug everything in from the back of the motherboard connectors in the back. Uh, uh, audio and microphone jacks in the back. Other than that, you are good to go. You got your cable connections here. You got your USBs. You got your um, HD audio. You got your 3.0 as well as your um, front panel hookups. You got room for your... Um, for your power supply now keep in mind and do not come with a power supply straw for best cable management make sure the unused cables you're not using make sure you go ahead and you, you, know, you tie those down and just stuck them in there nice and neat, neat like I did in my um grandson deep cool um case back there which is great um here's the extra fan here I'll be just like I said I'll be taking that fan out and I'll be putting in four um, that P was um, fans in here. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the front panel, so y'all can go ahead and get a good, clear, good, clear vision of that there. Okay, so now the front panel has been rebuilt. Now you can go ahead on and if you don't know, if you're not really feeling the LED, just like I said, you can take that out and you can install one, two, three for 120 millimeter fans you go ahead and add one on the door if you want to for more exhaust um that's what i'm going to be doing i will be removing this here led fans because i do not want to, I, i'm basically losing the feel of of anything lit it um when i turn on my computers i go ahead and turn off the leds um rgb fans you know i love the rgb vibe but it's not get it's just not it's just not really for me anymore so now to the ones who, who loving the rgb vibe continuing it continue go strong with it do your thing you can build your system the way you like it just like i said i'm more of a basic gamer and a basic pc user so i got my editing rig just to go ahead on and edit my own videos do my taxes do my stock probes and everything like that. Buy stocks and stock investor as well. And when I'm not doing that, there I go on my gaming rig, which is my basic gaming rig that play my RPG games. And that's me, just like I said in all my videos. I really do not um, need a high-end system, a high-end system, just like a high-end PC system, just to go ahead and play RGP. 
just basic simple game. So, um, but the um, solo T2 by Do It Yourself is a great case for me. Um, I'll be going ahead and be doing all the breakdowns of the um, Do It Yourself case. Um, Cuboy case and I'm not selling it so don't ask Star to be sending no in messaging Tell them so oh can I buy it from you? Yes, it's still have my RGB friends into it um, It's acrylic side panel. That was my very first case to go ahead and get into the presentation view I love it, but right now my basic colors are red and blue So if I want to go ahead on the same if I want to turn on my uh, computer I just put my what color I'm filling it in if it's blue, I put it on blue. If it's red, I put it in red, and I just call it a day. On today, I don't put in no flat, no stroke, um, no breathe mode, or anything like that. There. Um, but other than that, this is a great build for me. Um, this build will hold all my hard drives because I have two, two point five, um, three hundred and twenty gigabytes, and I have two. 2.5s that they'll get in there so I got two 3.5s and two 2.5s so and I'm on the M.2 and everything gonna be on good and dandy which I'm gonna be going ahead on just redoing everything over again because my M.2 is kind of heating up and I'm bringing in the heat sink in for that there so so basically all the parts for this here it's gonna be looking good gonna be looking fine yes sir I want to thank y'all for the unboxing of this here do it yourself case. Um, just like I said, they come in two colors, um, blue and red. The cost of it is $39.99 for a basic builder. You know, that's the main reason why I brought this case because I was into non-presentation um, cases. So, and I'm going back to non-presentation cases um, just for one. Um, just like I said, my cuboy bed, um, my cuboy is about 11 inches wide. I don't want to cut some of that, like four inches off that, three to four inches off the width, so I can go ahead on it and get more stuff up there. Right now, my desk is kind of congested, and you know, I need some space. All right, I want to thank y'all for watching this video. Hit the like button if you like it. Um, post your comments up. In the uh, comment section below, if y'all want to think I should stay with my Q-Boy um, build, which is massive airflow, acrylic side panels, or should I just downgrade to something more spacey-ish as my uh, Solo T2. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.